it's your moment that you've all been waiting for. I'm a just great. I'm a little not for me. And it's dry with nowhere to go. <laughs> well, that's your saying when winter comes early, doesn't it? Um, yeah. Uh, in this video, this is actually going to be very different. And you know why? We're only going to be reviewing only just how many products. Guess how many? One product. <laughs> and I think that actually has helped me to basically control the number of flip flap toys uh, to be introduced. Because if I had more than one flip flap toy, I think this is going to be a bit of a very stressful video to produce. But because we've got one, I'm only going to show you this toy here. And it looks very interesting. And I think it's got some very cool things along the way. It's a British Wildlife Collection toy. And it's got some very cute critters. Some of them look very ugly. Others, they look great. It just depends on what opinions I like. Uh. Oh, sorry, I've just burped. <laughs> Oh, this video is turning into the ultimate gross side, isn't it, eh? I mean, it stinks. £15.99 or £16. What product is that today? Swimming and boosting, or should I say roosting, cormorants and black-headed girl flock 12-pack. So this is basically like a realistic um, winter theme, uh, but with some very uh, semi-pelagic looking creatures. Or should I say birds, because the product features all of these, you know, these are birds, you know, I'm not even kidding. Uh, I've covered up the address on the envelope, because originally there was an address on the sticker on the envelope there. It's quite a nice looking product, it's got some features that look like Cramorant and Wingull, both from the Pokemon franchise, although this seagull there looks a bit iffy in terms of the design, but maybe it looks good. And it's not a Flapping Birds toy. Also, noticing you've... Oh, look at that. You can't see the um, Flapping Birds logo. In fact, I might unpack this one here. And because this is a single flat toy product review, I might show you what these um, uh, seabirds look like. And, um, yeah, they look very, very nice. Actually, I call them seabirds, but I've got a funny feeling... Uh, the truthful part is, is that black-headed girls aren't actually a seabird, they're actually not that a bit of a pelagic species. Although I might be totally wrong, maybe there are species of seabirds, maybe I might be totally wrong in a sense, maybe, you know. I'm just sort of thinking, you know, just because it's a seagull doesn't exactly mean it has to be in the sea. I think the name sea, I think the very funniest thing is, is that when you have a seagull which has sea in their name, is actually misleading because most of the time nowadays, because of through the verb, you know, what I'm actually saying is, is that because we have a huge um, source of food, uh, there's a very huge food availability in urbanised inland areas. Uh, I've got a funny feeling you will sometimes encounter them choking on French fries in a freaking parking lot. I'm just sounding American, you know. Um, yes, these are the cormorants right there. They look very nice, and uh, they're, they're, I've actually realised I've got this sort of, you know, thick vulture-like beak, which is very amazing. I've actually noticed some of the cormorants don't actually have the black or the grey eye telling feature here, additional feature, I suppose, eh? Yes, it does feel like a bit of wintertime thingy-bobs, because let's take a look at the black-headed gulls. Uh, the wingtips, they're sort of interesting. Both of them have got a dark headphone like patch on both sides here. And what's quite funny is uh, they look very, very nice. In fact, all of these toys, you know, the single, this is like the good old days. You know when I have one flip-flap product to review, uh, as I said earlier just now, this is like the good old days. Uh, I think they're always going to be in the shelf of purgatory. Like, you know, I mean, unlike Ashens, he tends to burn some of the, you, you know, some of his toys that, you know, if you go ahead and watch Stuart Ashen's um, YouTube channel, you know he burns a lot of his toys. But luckily enough, because this is an freaking Ashen's star video, I'm actually not going to burn them. In fact, all of these flip-up toys, I'm actually going to love them, even if they're not very nice though. And I think they're sort of very lovely, especially when it comes to seagulls. 
Oh yes, and I've actually realised the first time I've actually made products based on seagulls, officially, was in 2017. Actually, I'm going to sneeze. I oh, know. <laughs> you know why? I, I got a funny feeling. Uh, sorry about the um, the loud sneeze at the end of this video. Uh, please, if you do have a complaint for me, please, I'll let you know. And if you are basically not a fan of mine, sorry about that. And um, speaking, I'm sorry about that. Uh, if you're not a fan of mine, I'm sorry, you have to leave. So stop wasting my time. But anyways, I think that's just about that in this video. Nothing much to say, but this is just like the good old days when Flip Flap was basically the time, you know, back in last year when I decided to review only one Flip Flap product. Okay? And that's not a very big rarity. Or maybe it is. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. That was just one from that product. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now. And there you go. The Swimming and Roosting Cormorants and Black Headed Girl Flock 12 Pack product. Selling for £15.99. Well, that's basically £16. Yes, that's basically £16. And guess what? Because I've just extended the, um, the video a bit, I'm going to say thank you again and goodbye. Come on,